Yes. Okay. Oh my God. All right. You know what I like about you, Auntie Penny? What? <laughs> what do you love about your auntie? You're hilarious. Really? Yes. You know how to make us laugh all the time. I love that because laughter is key. And we have so many fun adventures. I know. So. I, I love being with you guys too. My personal mantra is to make it count. Make the most of each day. And I didn't have that mantra until after my diagnosis. When I got the diagnosis, you know, I can remember being in the doctor's office and hearing crying from other patients who had got that same news, you diagnosed with stage four, and I was as cold as ice. It wasn't about how long do I have to live? No, it was like, what are you gonna do to help me stay alive? And if you can't, get out of my way. I had to fight my way to find researchers and advocates who were willing to help me stay alive. About 38% of the U.S. population identifies as racial and ethnic minorities. But if you look at what is the population of the individuals that actually participate in clinical research, only 2 to 16% of those individuals identify as racial and ethnic minorities. Clinical research is important because that's how we advance medical knowledge. That's how we advance healthcare. We are still not moving the needle so that we are ensuring that the people that participate in our clinical studies represent the population that is most likely to benefit from them. When it comes to designing clinical research to be more inclusive and more representative, we need to have as much information as we possibly can about that patient population. So getting access to railroad data. At Sanofi, what we do is that we partner with companies like Trinetics where we get access to that diverse patient information. Uh, yeah, it's definitely that's why it was hard at some times, like being in that clinical trial for two years, right? Remember you guys didn't see me in some holidays? Wait, I is that why? Yeah. I don't. See, now it's coming Wait. together. How difficult was it for me to get into a clinical trial? It was like trying to win the lottery. Nothing was handed to me no one offered me anything. I literally, I call it backdooring my way in. I got involved with the clinical trial by identifying myself to the researcher who was actually, you know, doing the work. He confirmed that I would be a good candidate for the trial that was about to happen. And I went from having a 4% chance of survival to here I am now, six years in remission. Sometimes a clinical trial is the only care option that a patient with advanced cancer has. I feel like had more patients known about the trial that I was on, they might have signed up. At Sanofi, we work with companies like Trinetics to help us get access to real-world data we get access to diverse patient information. So we get information about age, about gender, about race and ethnicity, as well as location and other social determinants of health. And we use that information to help us when we're trying to design our clinical trials to be inclusive of diverse patient populations. It's very important that we identify investigators who have access to this patient population and that we know exactly where those patients are so that we're placing our trials in those areas. The Trinetics platform works through aggregating de-identified patient information from different medical centers, including the one that I work in, Boston Medical Center. It also joins people who want to conduct a clinical trial to appropriate institutions. So instead of me spending a lot of time seeking out sponsors, seeking out site feasibility, Trinetics did all the back work for me. As a caregiver, as a clinician who treats young people, involving them in the clinical trial process at this age is really empowering to them. My job is to not only treat them, but my job is to make sure that their voices are heard and that they learn from a very early age that they can be included in this process. <laughs> I know everybody's got that one aunt in the family. Yes. Am I that aunt? No, but it's like- Clinical trials mean, to me, opportunity. 
As a person of color, I understand the history and the mistrust that comes along with the words clinical research, right? I also understand the value of clinical research, but I also understand the importance of understanding what it is and what you're getting yourself into. There could be some benefits and there can be some risk. Like, let's be honest. As an advocate, I feel like it's a beautiful thing to empower patients to make an informed decision. My hope in the future for clinical trials is that the conversation about clinical trials happens earlier, helping patients understand the value of clinical research and the value of it early on.